Axonometric Projection 4. The purpose of this exercise is to demonstrate how to draw a circle in isometric projection using axonometric projection. Given the axonometric axis, the elevation drawn at 15 degrees and the plan drawn at 45 degrees and also a 3D graphic of the solid. The first thing we have to do is to divide the circle into six parts. So to do that, we place the 60 degree set square on like that, place the 45 degree set square in contact with the 60, slide back from the diameter, hold the 45 degree in that position and use the 60 to draw the lines. So from the center of the circle, draw each line at 30 degrees and at 60 degrees. And that's the circle divided into six equal parts. The next thing we do is draw those points perpendicular to the diameter. So set up the two set squares again and draw each point down to get them on the bottom line. That's the points now along the bottom line. Using a piece of paper as a template, transfer these points onto the template and index them. And now transfer them onto your plan. Mark each point and number them. Draw them back at 60 degrees, project in the points from the elevation and project up the points from the plan. Trace the points now, point zero gets that point zero. Point one brought down and brought up, point two brought up and brought in from the elevation, that's point two. Point three is the top of the circle. Point four, five, and the last one then, six. Freehand curve through those points. And that's the front of the solid. Now to get the back of the solid, we bring up the back points. So project up the six points. And now trace the points, follow the points up from the plan and out from the elevation and get each of the points as you've done with the front points. And that's the points. Now it's a freehand curve through those. And that's your solid lined in and a little bit of color added to it. And that's axonometric for complete.